in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure an Aruba switch to support non-Aruba SFPs. In this example, I've got two non-Aruba copper SFPs, one connected to this Mac using a Sonnet network adapter. This laptop is sending traffic to the laptop in front of me. Notice the speeds, 9.8 gigabits per second. Now for this to work, you need to do a number of things. You need to configure the MTUs on your Macs as well as on the switch. You need to upgrade the switch to support non-Aruba SFPs. Older versions of the Aruba operating system do not support non-Aruba SFPs. So you need to upgrade your switch to support these. You need to configure the MTUs on the switch as well as the end devices. Okay, let's get started. In this video, I'm gonna try and send traffic from one MacBook to another using these 10 gig network adapters. This is a Sonnet Thunderbolt 3 to 10 base T. So I'll connect the first Sonnet adapter to this MacBook and I'll connect the second one to the MacBook in front of me. So I now have a Sonnet adapter connected to this MacBook as well as this MacBook. But to make this more interesting, I'm gonna use non-Aruba SFPs with this Aruba switch. In theory, an Aruba switch such as this should support non-Aruba SFPs. But I'm gonna show you in this video that you need a specific release of the Aruba software. It won't work by default on this switch. So I'll plug in the first SFP, plug in the second SFP, and then I'll connect the first MacBook to the first SFP, and then second MacBook to second SFP. So my network is physically cabled. I'm connecting to the Aruba switch using a web interface via the management port. So this interface on the switch is connected to my home network. That's an out of band connection. In other words, there's no connectivity from this interface to this little network running here. These two MacBooks are connected to the switch using those 10 gig interfaces, and they'll be in a separate subnet to my home network. Now on the Aruba switch, if I refresh this page and scroll down to look at the interfaces, these copper interfaces on the switch support one gig, 2.5 as well as five gig, but notice port 1149 and 51 are showing unsupported transceiver. These SFPs are not supported in this version of operating system. So one of the first things I'm gonna to wanna to do is upgrade the firmware. At the moment, it's running 10.04.2000. So what I'll do is drag 10.06 and upload that as the secondary image. Notice two images are supported on Aruba switches. We have a primary image and a secondary image. The great thing about doing this is you can upgrade the secondary image and then boot to the secondary image. But if there's a problem, you can go back to the primary image. So you can have two different versions of operating system on the switch and then boot from one or the other. So let's upload that as a secondary image. Okay, we're told that the new firmware has been successfully uploaded. It's verifying and writing the system firmware. You may need to press the reboot button on the page or the reboot item on the top right hand system menu for it to take effect. So before I do that, notice the primary image is 10.04, secondary image is 10.06. So what I'll do is click reboot and I'm going to reboot the switch from the secondary image. Okay, so we told that the switch will reboot. It won't be available for a while. You will not be able to log in until the reboot has completed. Okay, so you can probably hear that. The switch is making a lot of noise, it's busy rebooting. When it gets back, I'll log into the web page. Okay, switch is back, so I'll connect back to the switch using the web browser. I'll log in. And under firmware, notice the secondary image is 1006, and that's what we're currently using. So if we go to interfaces, hopefully the interfaces will be recognized. And notice that there you go, 
SFP interfaces are up, up. So that's a good sign. Both those interfaces are up. So hopefully these two computers will be able to talk to each other. What I'll do on this Mac is configure it with a static IP address. So let's say 10.1.1.102. Click apply. So that's on the Thunderbolt interface. So once again, the Sonnet interface. On this Mac, IP address it's got is 10.1.1.101. So hopefully, if I start iperf and connect to 10.1.1.102, I'll be able to send traffic from that MacBook to this MacBook. Okay, so before I do that, I need to start iperf on this MacBook on my left. And on this MacBook, I'll say start. As you can see there, the one MacBook is sending about 9.38 gigabits per second. So this MacBook is sending about 9.4 gig of traffic to the MacBook in front of me. And the MacBook in front of me is sending traffic to this MacBook of 9.35 gigabits per second. Now there's a few things you need to be aware of if you wanna get the best performance. One of the things you're gonna to wanna to do is go to advanced, select hardware, and you're gonna to wanna to set the MTU to jumbo 9000. That increases the throughput through the network. So on the MacBook in front of me, I'll do something similar. Go to advanced, go to hardware. Let's set this to jumbo frames. It's so MTU to jumbo frames. So back on this Mac, we are getting about 9.3 gig to the Mac in front of me. So 9.3 gig that way. And going this way, we're only getting about seven gig. So not sure if that's a MTU problem or something to do with the Macs. So I forgot to click apply. Let's do that and apply the MTU. So going to hardware, it's jumbo frames 9000. You can see the speed is about nine gig from this Mac to that Mac. And the other way around, we're getting about 7.46 gig a second. Not as much as I would have hoped. I would have preferred to be closer to 10 gig. I'll stop this side. And you can see from the Mac in front to the Mac on the left, the speed is increasing. We're now at about eight gig. So it could be that they struggling to process the amount of data. So I'll start this side again. Speed's climbing, six gig, not as much as I wanted. Let's have a look at the switch. Now what I'll do in this example is SSH to the switch because I know the CLI better. So 192.168.161. Username is admin. And I'll log in. Okay, so show run. We've got a bunch of interfaces on the switch. The interfaces that we're interested in are 49 and 51. So interface 1 slash 149, MTU. And I'm going to set this to the biggest that it supports which is actually 9198 and interface one slash 151. I'll do the same. So show run interface one slash 149 MTU set on that interface. There's probably a way that you can configure this through the GUI, but I tend to use CLI. So there you go. I've set the MTU. Let's have a look at my devices. So start the traffic again on my PC. You can see this is now 9.84, 9.8 gigabits per second. So that's what I'd expect. We're getting close to 10 gigabits per second. This side is eight gig, so 8.6 gig from PC in front to this MacBook. 
those are the kind of speeds that I'm looking for, 9.8 gig from this Mac to the Mac in front of me. Other way around, not as good as I would have hoped, 8.8 .8 gig. If I stop this side, let's see if it increases. You can see that it's now increasing because probably something to do with the Mac not being able to support those kind of speeds. You can see it's now at nine gig. If I start the other side where it's sending traffic in both directions. Okay, so that's more of what I was expecting. I've got 9.8 gig from one side to the other and about nine from Mac in front to Mac on left. That's the kind of speeds that I'd expect through a switch like this using these Sonnet adapters. So about nine in one direction, about 9.8 gigabits per second in the other direction. Both these laptops are sending traffic to each other using iPerf. So measuring the speeds from this MacBook to that MacBook and from that MacBook to this MacBook. I'm happy with that. Okay, so some things to remember. You need to upgrade the operating system of the Switch. Non-Aruba transceivers are supported in later releases of operating system up to 10 gigabits per second. Here I've got two non-Aruba SFPs, 10 gig copper SFPs. They are supported because I upgraded the switch. I'm using Sonnet adapters here to allow a Mac to send at 10 gigabits per second through the network. I've got two Macs sending traffic to one another. This one as an example is sending traffic to the one in front of me at 9.8 gigabits per second. So I'm happy with that result. Don't forget to set the MTUs on the switch as well as on the end devices so that they use jumbo frames, so at least 9,000 bytes. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and clicking on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal, and I want to wish you all the very best.